Hi everybody, back with another um, time-lapsed sketch in Clip Studio Paint. I am drawing from a reference image. Um, this uh, account that I got this image from I used about, uh, I don't know, almost 10 years ago on a, um, uh, when I was doing sketch cards. And I got permission to use um, this, uh, this person's account. Um, just had some really good uh, headshots, and I actually think I use this particular. And I'll put a link in the description, but I think I actually use this particular uh, pose for maybe a She-Hulk or something. Uh, I can't. I seem to remember that. But anyway, um, just kind of using it to loosen up. I started the day with a um, um, migraine, so uh, when I get migraines, I get uh, like that little blurred vision, or actually just a blind spot that kind of moves from my right field of vision across to the center so about midday i had a nice little blind spot dead center of of my um <clears throat> vision excuse me and um so i didn't get a lot done for half a day i feel a little bit better now um but i uh, worked a little bit towards the deadline and then um stepped away from that just to do a quick another quick video uh youtube um updated their version to a new version and all of a sudden I had the option to revert to the old version which let TubeBuddy which I used to do tags and things uh, suddenly start working again and uh, until this I don't know what happened anyway um, I did have a question I don't know if the person deleted it or if it got lost when um, YouTube switched things today um, had to do with uh, motivation, um, just how staying motivated and, and the things. And I, I don't think I have the actual, um, maybe I do. Yeah, it's weird. It's, it's up here in my notifications, but it's not when I get the video. Anyway, um, how do I keep um, uh, motivated? Um, that's a good question. Um, if, you're, if you're waiting to feel uh, motivated and inspired, you will probably not uh, get much done. Um, that's a horrible uh, way to, um, if you're waiting for that inspiration, uh, inspiration comes and goes. And I found that if you just kind of sit down and get kind of engrossed in whatever you're doing and just warm up to it, uh, you can get motivated to finish a particular project. Now, just in the, the bigger scheme of things, I, I get motivated just from looking at uh, other people's work, like buying art books, um, uh, like when I go to San Diego, I bought a book of, um, it's a Western, it's in French. I guess it had been translated into French, maybe. Um, anyway, the artwork was by uh, Mobius, and um, it's a large format, like uh, printed at the size that he drew it, which is big, like 11, bigger than 11 by 17, I think. Um, but, uh, I mean, you can really get in and seeing that kind of stuff when it's actual size and hadn't been shrunk down, you can really see like the corrections and the line work and that kind of thing um, motivates me. Um, sometimes to get uh, motivated is is um, if you for me it's a little bit different because I draw and I'm at the drawing table as a job. Uh, sometimes I have to step away and go do something else uh, in order to feel like you know getting back to it. Um, so for me, you know, having a, a hobby that's not in here. You can see I'm flipping the thing to see where my things are off balance here in the form. Um, but uh, stepping away and having a hobby that's a little more physical because, you know, you're sitting at um, um, the table and um, like I'll, I'll paint just for fun, but that's too close to what I do. Um, so it doesn't really give me that stepping away and just kind of getting refreshed. So uh, for me, just doing something physical like working out and uh, doing martial arts and stuff has helped a lot because it just gives me helps me clear my head so that I can step back to the table. But uh, as far as finding motivation, at a certain point, you've, you've just got to, um, you know, make a decision to this is what I'm going to do and then I, and, and then start to do it. And I found that once you start doing something, your emotions kind of follow uh, your decision. Um, uh, I, I found if you have to sit there and argue with yourself, like it's like going to the gym. I mean, pretty much anything. It's like, OK, I want to go to the gym. But if you're if you have to talk yourself and argue because you don't always feel like it, but if you start having conversations with yourself about why you should go to the gym, you will probably lose the argument because um, your you know your intellect is arguing with your your emotions essentially, and uh, that that doesn't you know. I, I find you just make the decision and you just 
the, at, once you've made the decision, shut off your brain and just go. Um, so it's kind of like uh, when you're same thing with drawing and getting motivated and working on a project is at a certain point, you just have to make the decision, even though you don't feel like it, sit down and eventually your, your um, motivation and your emotions kind of catch up. So I didn't really feel like drawing this particular thing right here, to be honest. Um, uh, at this point, I'm kind of getting a little more into it. Um, but, you know, sometimes you just have to make a decision and go. Uh, I don't know if that helps, but um, that's just kind of how I approach uh, things um, as far as staying motivated. But like I said, looking looking at other people's stuff, going to conventions uh, helps get motivated too, just especially bigger shows because you talk to people and you see other projects people have worked on and that makes you want to do um, do projects. Uh, one of the things that will demotivate you is honestly constantly putting things online and looking for that feedback you're trying to get that little warm fuzzy every time you post a sketch and then when you don't get it you it brings you down just a little bit it's just human nature and and it's not just with posting art that's just the way we're kind of wired with you know that's why we constantly pull out our phones that little little dopamine drip that we like to hit and uh, get notifications and things and I, i found one of the most demotivating demotivating things is um putting is getting into the trap of trying to do the instant gratification sketches thing. Um, And there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, you need to do that to kind of maintain a a presence. uh, And that's important. Uh, But posting like a work in progress is good. And then sketches here and there. But you need to kind of devote yourself to a bigger, make sure you're, you're doing a bigger project that takes a little bit more time, has a little bit more, you know, that even if it, nobody ever saw it would, that would give a little bit of, um, creative satisfaction that you finished the thing. So, uh, kind of look for, for those things that, uh, uh, you know, something that's worthwhile doing, even if very few people ever saw it or a good question to ask yourself is, you know, if you, if your work never became famous, uh, until after you were dead, (laughs) would you be okay with that? And what, if that's the case, what kind of things would you like to leave behind instead of looking for the, the instant gratification uh, so that, that for me, that's one of the things that demotivate me. Uh, I feel like I'm rambling pretty much at this point. Um, but, uh, that's kind of how I look at motivation. One of the, um, things too, that the dangers is constantly looking to get addicted to inspiration. Like you're looking at, there's a reason why motivational little sayings and stuff are so big on Pinterest and things. It's like people like to read and hear talks and see things that are motivate them. But you can, I've, I've seen people get really into the, the pep talk and not so much the actual work. Um, you can get kind of addicted to that high of, yes, I'm motivated and um, I'm inspired. And then before you know it, you're just looking for that next hit of inspiration um, when really uh, everything at some point just boils down to um, work. And that's just the way it is. So uh, here I am coloring in, uh, doing the basic flat um, colors here trying to be real quick because I need to get back to the drawing table and uh, work on my deadline before my family gets home and uh, hopefully I can work a little bit tonight without having to I don't know if you've ever had a migraine I get migraines and the next day is like a hangover it's just like you know you just have that migraine hangover but uh I actually have medicine for it. I think I took the medicine just in time to really curb the, the bad one, the a bad headache. But enough about my problems. Um, <laughs> uh, I, uh, I don't know if I've said, I think I've said this before. It's been a while. Uh, just as far as what I'm using here, I'm using Clip Studio Paint and a uh, Cintiq Wacom 13 inch. I got the small one. Um, it's because I'm, I couldn't, I couldn't drop two grand. I can drop a grand, but not two grand. That's, that was a little bit too much. Plus my space is, uh, I, I, I've actually gotten used to it. I understand why people would like the bigger version, but, um, I mean, I'm, I'm so used to the small version now that it's not a, not a big deal. Um, so here I'm using a purple on a multiply layer and the multiply layer is set pretty, um, low opacity. So I can just do one pass and to kind of a purple shadow. And here I've stopped, uh, <clears throat> at a certain point with the inks, I stopped looking at the reference. Uh, it's a good trick with, um, Looking at references, knowing when to stop looking at it. Um, it's good to kind of jog your, your uh, I think I said this a couple of videos ago, it's good to jog your, you know, your 
uh, your eye into seeing form and things. But at a certain point, you don't want to be a slave to it if you're, you know, especially if you're doing something like this. But to make it yours, um, um, you know, this kind of style, uh, I try to look, get away from it as soon as I can. Um, as soon as I've, as I've got the kind of layout information I need, then um, I kind of stop looking at it. So the lighting is a little different on the picture. I just wanted to have it a little more simply coming from the left there. So uh, once I did these shadows, uh, I did the shadows, the fingers on her face kind of looks like uh, some kind of war paint or something, but I'll leave it there. Um, being real sketchy. Um, with the light, I kind of like going in and erasing some of the edges of the light. It makes it kind of look like it's fading in and out a little bit instead of really hard edges, but uh, actually kind of looks like in Photoshop when you use the lasso tool and the gradient fill, you get kind of a, a, what's called a cut fill. Uh, kind of fades out into a shape and just kind of apes that a little bit, uh, just erasing it. Um, yeah, it's a little, little rougher, but for a sketch for a video or just a sketch to put online, it's it's fine. So um, only about, about another minute of it and I'll be done. Um, Go add some interesting things to the hair here in a second. Yeah, a little, just a little blue strands to give a little. I could have left it all black, but uh, just trying to make it a little more interesting. Right now, I'm just f at this point finagling and about to wrap it up and moving back and forth between layers and make the inside of her mouth look a little bit more shadow and a little bit. Uh, um, I need to add. I think I'm here. Add some shadow on her eyes just to. A lot of people don't add, uh, when you're first starting out, forget to add that shadow to the whites of the eyes because the whites of the eyes are, aren't actually pure white. Where the, you can use uh, white where the um, shine is, but uh, it's actually um, a grayish. I mean, I mean, it depends on the light. I mean, I think I used purple and gray in there just to give it a little bit of color. And then just uh, adding a little, little outline of gray just to give it a little something. And... Uh, I think it's about about going to uh, wrap this one up. So uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the bell to get notifications when I uh, uh, post a new video. And uh, see you tomorrow.